Hello and welcome to the V-Ray for SketchUp series. In this episode, I will show you how you can easily create and export an animation sequence. In the previous episode, we took a look at the render settings and how you can customize them to increase the quality and render speed. Before we start today's tutorial, I want to remind you that you can find the scene we're working on for download in the video description below, together with the scene assets. Grab them for free so you can practice at your own pace. Have you ever wondered, how can I take my visualizations to the next level? The simple answer is by creating a short animation reel of your exterior or interior scene. In doing this, the client or viewer will get a better understanding of your work. Also, everyone likes animations. So how do you create and export animations in SketchUp? Well, in just a few easy steps, thanks to V-Ray. I'm going to show you two different ways you can export your animations. The first one will be for fast previews, and the second one for final production. So let's start by setting up our scene for animations. The first thing we need is a start and end point of our camera animation. For the start position of our camera, I'll go behind these trees here and create a scene. And for the end position, I will make sure that we see the entire house. That way we can create a revealing shot, showcasing our main asset, which in this case is the house. If you don't want the scene to be part of the transition animation, you can click this button here. When we're done setting up the camera transitions, there are a couple of things we need to make sure are enabled. The first thing is the animation setting for our scene. Make sure that the scene transition is enabled. The seconds here correspond to the amount of time one scene is going to transition to another. I think that 3 seconds is a good number for now. If it seems too fast for you, you can always change that. Now we can click between the scenes to see the transition play. The next step is to enable the animation slider in the asset editor. Exporting an animation sequence is a very consuming process. V-Ray automatically renders in 30 frames per second. We set our transition to be 3 seconds long, so that means that we will have to render 90 frames. You can imagine that this would take some time, so before committing to rendering 90 separate images, we can use V-Ray Vision to get a quick preview of how our animation is going to look like. When we open Vision, we can immediately play back the camera transition. You can also export an animation as an image sequence so you can show it to clients or just use it as a reference to improve your next animation. In the export settings, we can choose to either export a video or to export each frame separately. For this video, I want to get all the images in a sequence. Then I'll add a folder path where we want all the images to be stored and I'll specify a file type. Make sure to select the resolution mode from project. This will take the render output you have chosen in the asset editor. Otherwise, the render output will be the size of the vision window. For the vision export, I'll stay at 30 frames per second. And guess what? That's it! Let's click the export button and give it some time. When the image sequence is exported, you can add it to any third-party software that will allow you to play it back. I'll use the Chaos Player, where you can not only preview animations, but add different types of compositing effects. If you're satisfied with the look of your animation sequence, it's time for production render. Let's turn on the bucket rendering mode, put the quality on high and add a denoiser. If you're not sure what these options do, please check out the settings tutorial. Note that these render settings work best for me, but your machine might require different adjustments. So first test out how long a single frame will be rendered with minimum noise. When you do a production render, you will notice that it takes a lot of time to render only one frame and we have 90 of them. Time is very valuable, so let me show you a fast way you can render all of your images at once. Any guesses? It's the Chaos Cloud. With a click of a button, you can export your scene to our cloud services. Make sure that the proper resolution is set and let the power of the cloud do its job. When your image sequence is ready, you can preview it from here and download it. To learn more about the cloud rendering, go ahead and visit our site. So let's add the render sequence in the Chaos Player and preview both animations. You will definitely notice a big difference in the quality, but note that the vision export took just under 4 minutes for the whole sequence. So depending on the time you have and the desired quality of your animation, you can choose between these two methods. Well, you've reached the end of the last episode of the tutorial series. Way to go! I hope you found this information useful and that you will use these V-Ray tips for your next project. Thank you for being part of the V-Ray experience.